Hello everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, I am going to be attempting the synthesis of niobium pentachloride from Union of the Elements. I have not tried this before, so I have no idea how this is going to go. I have made niobium pentabromide in the past, which was a fuck ton easier because you just kind of open up the apparatus and you, you know, pipette it in dry bromine and you close the fucker up and you call it a day. But with chlorine, we have to set up a chlorine generator and we have to dry the chlorine gas before it gets to the metal. And um, we are really, really hope we're going to be able to pull that shit off. Um, both my pumps decided to crap out, so normally I would run ice water through the condenser, but we're going to have to go with tap water. And we're going to really hope that fucking cuts it. Anywho, so over here on the left, you can see we have our standard chlorine gas generator. Um, in the flask, there's trichloroisocyanuric acid and water. Um, up there in the addition funnel, we have about six molar HCl. Um, the gas, once it's generated, will come up through the adapter, go up through the cold finger condenser that you can see here, or maybe the not so cold finger condenser, come up to a drying tube that is full of calcium chloride. The gas will come down to here into this test tube that has a nice little sidearm. Unfortunately, I don't have any more rubber tubing, so there's nothing to channel the waste gas. <laughs> Once it comes out of this fucking thing, I, we are rednecking it really, really big in this fucking video, man. Oh my god. Um, anywho, there is the niobium metal shavings right there. Um, now, I was going to try tantalum because somebody had actually specifically asked me about making tantalum pentachloride, but I've only got little bits of tantalum and I'm really worried that there's just not enough surface area there um, that, that it will react slowly. So we're, I'm hoping that with the shavings, it's going to work. Now, Atomistry says that the metal has to be heated up to a red heat because of course it does. Um, so we're going to try heating this up with the burner. Um, whether or not I will actually be able to, you know, get usable amounts of niobium pentachloride on the sides of the tube is anybody's guess. Theoretically, this stuff should be formed down here when we heat up the metal. The gas should rise. And hopefully it will condense out somewhere around here. Um, I have serious concerns that it's going to occlude this thing. In which case the stopper will pop off. I mean nothing horrible is going to happen. Just the niobium pentachloride will start breaking down all over the place. Hydrolyzing and giving off hydrogen chloride gas. Yeah well. We're already going to be dealing with clouds of chlorine. So that will be fun. Um, but that's okay, because we have the redneck fume hood. That's right. And and it's a windy day today, so that should help. <laughs> oh my god, man. I swear. I, I, I this is all this is like right on the borderline of being against my better judgment, but I have come so fucking far, I am at least going to try it and see if this shit can be made to work. And if so, this video is going on the internet. I don't care if we only get a little bit of it on the side of the tube. That's fine. You get the basic idea. And, you know, if you have a better budget and can, you know, get things like fucking pumps that can pump ice water through your condenser and tubes that can, you know, channel away the waste chlorine so you don't have to worry about breathing that shit, this is probably fairly straightforward. Might want to go for a longer tube, too, you know. That way you can kind of sublime it up the tube and then purify it from the oxy trichloride, which will also almost certainly form from trace amounts of water. Oh well. Anyway, let's give this shit a try. I will come back once we've got chlorine moving through this thing and we're ready to heat it up and see what happens. All right, man, come on. Show me something good. Show me something make it all worth it. Ah. 
Oh, god damn. Oh, oh. Whoa. Death vapor. Is that shit self sustaining? Uh. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we're doing this. Uh. Hmm. Um. Alright. Redneck respirator engage. Well, something's happening. Oh shit, it's burning. That shit's on fire. Oh wow, that's pretty fucking neat. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go away now. I can't believe how well this is working. Oh, yeah, the sidearm's already getting occluded. That's fine. This is a practical method for synthesis unless you can somehow get it out of there, though. I can't believe this is working. Damn, I'm <laughs> I still got it. Gotta see the shit from the other side. <laughs> it's starting to clog up just a little bit. Now that's interesting. <clears throat> Sorry, just my lungs turning to cheese. A little pulmonary edema never killed. Well, never mind. Anyhow. I wonder if that shit at the bottom is the oxy-tribromide and what we've got up towards the top is the pentabromide or it's the other way around. So long as we've got a good gas flow of chlorine, which we do, it should be keeping any air excluded. So, I don't know, man. Now see, we've got a little band of white shit down there. I'm sure I've got text on the screen that gives you my best guess as to what this is. Oh, fuck me, man. Where the... Ah. Uh, I'm so worried that that thing is going to clog up and then it's just going to... pop the top off that fucking thing and start spraying chlorine everywhere. Oh, is the party over? Oh, fuck. Chlorine is so much easier to deal with. Chlorine can be such a cunt. Well, I mean, 
I don't see what else the hell that shit can be except for our product. I don't know what that dark residue at the bottom of the tube is. Maybe just partially reacted metal. Maybe it's covered with some kind of crust that's passivating it. I don't know. We're still getting a little bit of vapor coming out of there. And by the way, I have no idea what happens if you breathe niobium pentachloride vapor. Or rather, I do. But I don't really know what it means. I mean, you know, it'll hydrolyze to give niobic acid and... At least I think it's niobic acid and um, hydrogen chloride. So hydrochloric acid. <coughs> Not great for your lungs. I mean, true. Now, see, look at that. Ooh, whoa. Look at that. As it's cooling off, shit's happening down here. Now, the chlorine's still flowing through here. Okay, look at that. Oh, what is happening? What is that? What is happening? We got some kind of liquid shit here. Our apparatus is still functioning. But we have liquid shit. Why do we have liquid shit? Um, okay. I have no idea what that is. <coughs> what I find interesting is that it's still fuming. Even though the only thing moving through there is chlorine. Like, there's no heating. Is it still hot? Whoa! God damn, it's hot! Well, clearly it's still reacting. Holy shit, that fucker's hot. Well, now we know what the liquid stuff is. How can I shut down this fucking reaction without having air get back into the tube? Because we've got a decently thick layer of this stuff, man. It would be really nice if we could capture it. I'm thinking that, especially up here, this has got to be pretty pure stuff. Ah, oh, it just sucks, man. Yeah. All it would take would be just subliming this shit up into an ampule and sealing it, and you would be able to make the pure stuff without too many issues. Holy shit, people, look at this. We didn't just make a little bit of it. We made a shitload of it. Holy crap. Oh my god, that is so fucking cool. Look at that shit. There's a great big fucking pile of it. I am going to do my... I'm going to try to dump this shit into, a, into HCL, man. We're losing it already. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I had no idea it was making so much of it. Son bitch. Okay, come on, come on. Let's do this shit. Oh, come on, you whore. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, I need to move you back here, so I, I hope that this captures the action. I have to be quick. Whoa! Yes! Yes, we got it! Wow, look at the, the rest of it is breaking down like almost immediately. Okay, let's decant this into another beaker. Come on, come on, come on. Work with me here. Come on, give me a solution, you son of a bitch. Yes! Yes! Ha! Success! Damn, I'm good. I do say so myself, and I do. Now can we get anything to precipitate from it? Beats the fuck out of me, man. You know what, we're gonna stop here. Um, 
because I can't breathe any more of this shit, y'all. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we were able to get a solution of niobium pentachloride and HCl, at least I think. We're gonna bottle this shit up, and then we were gonna come back to this in a follow-up video once I figure out what kind of compound I can make from this shit. But I gotta, I gotta wrap this up here. Let me go bottle this shit up, and we're gonna call it a day. My, my lungs are turning to cheese out here. Smell of God. All right. Here's our stuff that's been exposed to air. Nice fuming solid. Let's see what happens when we put a little water on it. Okay. Here we go with our giant penta chloride dildo here. Well, that's rather anticlimactic. Oh! We got blue shit! What the fuck is that? What the actual fuck just happened there? I don't even... I'm, I'm not even kidding, y'all. I got no clue. What the hell is this? That's just tap water. What is this? What just happened here? Um, anybody got any thoughts? I have no clue what this is. This shit doesn't, it can't dissolve in water. It reacts with it. So what the fuck is this? Um, all right. This prep had a surprise. Well, let's bottle this too and keep it and see what happens to it. Um, it's no longer mystery blue shit. I am intrigued. What the hell is this stuff? Oh, well. I guess I'll save a vial of the mystery blue shit and we'll see what it happens to it over time. Nah, that's okay. We didn't get anything here, but again, I didn't expect to. I am just happy we got niobium pentachloride off... God damn it. Pentachloride. I can't keep all my fucking halides straight here. Anyway, the shit we were after, I'm glad we got it. I'm not breathing a fucking chlorine gas to get it. And we got a mystery compound. I have no idea what it is. And it seems like it's a hell of a lot more stable than our initial solution is, which seems like it was all about breaking down. Meh, what are you going to do, right? Oh, well. <clears throat> nah, cleaning this bitch up is going to be fun. Anyway, let's wrap that up here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well... You really do have no sense of adventure. I mean, come on, mystery blue shit. What's not to like? Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks. It's kind of expensive to make mystery blue shit. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later. This was fun. I love it when there's all kinds of unexpected meat shit that happens.